Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Ang nakikita niyang figure about circle and lines is what we are going to talk with this video material. Our topic is about tangents and secants of a circle. Pero ano nga ba tong tangent at secant of a circle? A tangent to a circle is a line coplanar with the circle and intersect it in one and only one point. See this figure. If we have circle A and we choose that point as point B and you draw a line that intersect the circle, and line at point B, yan ang tinatawag na tangent to a circle. That point B is what we call the point of tangency. How about secant? A secant is a line which intersects a circle at exactly two points, like this one. If we have this circle A and we choose two points, that's point B and point C. If we connect that, we form a line. And that line is secant to circle. So, ang pagkakaiba nila, ang tangent ay intersect at one point. Dito naman, it intersect at two points. And when we talk of tangent and secant, meron tayong tinatawag na theorem. At alamin natin yan. Theorem on tangent illustrated this figure. If we have that figure... We have that line CD, this one, line CD. And we have line segment BA, which is a reduce. And let's discuss that, that this line CD is tangent to circle B. So tangent naman talaga siya sa circle B kasi nag-intersect sa point A. But then, it is perpendicular to BA or radius BA. So tandaan... Lagi siyang perpendicular if it intersect or if it is tangent and radius uh, connected. On the other hand, if we have the circle B and we have that two line segment CD and line segment AD, then it says if they are tangent to circle B, so ito yung circle B natin, Okay, tangent naman talaga siya. Then CD and AD is congruent. So that's two of the tangent na kailangan alam nyo kapag pinag-uusapan ang tangent line. Okay, so let's continue working with the theorems. And this time we'll be working with the theorem on angles formed by tangents and secant. Like this figure. So, kung titignan nyo tong figure na to, so, mapapansin mo, meron dyang dalawang line na secant to circle. At alamin natin kung ano yan. So, if two secant intersect and in exterior of the circle ito, so, nag-intersect sa labas ng circle, then the measurement of the angle form, this angle, ang sukat daw nito, angles na to, or angle na to, ay one half. The measure of this arc and this arc. So, yung arc na mas malayo dun sa vertex, minus ito. Okay, so that's what we are talking with this difference, kaya minus. So, let us consider that we'll be working with that figure. So, alamin natin ang sukat na angle GAT. So, if that's the case, MP, sabi sa ating rule, we are going to get the one half of the positive difference of GT or arc GT minus arc RN. And consider that the measure of arc GT is 130 degrees and arc RN is 20 degrees. So substitute lang natin sa formula. So we have 1 half is equal to 130 degrees 
minus 20 degrees. So, pwede ngayon natin itong isolve. And that is equivalent to 1 half of 110 degrees. Because 130 minus 20 degrees is equivalent to 110 degrees. So, ibig sabihin nito, kalahati ng 110 at ang kalahati ng 110 ay 55 degrees. Therefore, that's the measure of angle G. A, T. Okay, so yun ngayon ang magiging sukat ng angle na ito. How about the other theorem? Let us consider that we are about to work on with if a second, this one, because it intersects at two points, and tangent, ito naman, kasi nag-intersect sa circle, so exactly one point. So saan nag-meet ang line? Sa exterior pa rin. So, hawig ito nung una, ang pagkakaiba lang, yung una ay dalawang secant, ito naman isang tangent at secant. So, ang measurement niya of the angle is one half of the positive difference in the measure of the intercepted arc. So, ito yung intercepted arc at saka ito. So, kaparehas kanina, so kunyari hanapin natin ang measure ng angle T, U, E. So, one na pa rin, yung mas malayong arc, which is TE minus arc RE, this one. So, if and only if arc TE is 150 degrees and arc RE is 30 degrees, is substitute lang uli natin. That means to say, that's 150 minus 30 degrees. Okay? So, tapos minus natin ito. That's one half, and the result is 120 degrees. Kalati ng 120 degrees, that's the measure of angle TUE. Okay? Nasasundan ha? Okay, proceed with the next. Paano kung ito ng figure ang pag-aaralan natin? One tangent and another tangent that intersect at the exterior pa rin, sa labas pa rin ng angle. That theorem says that if two tangents intersect in the exterior of a circle, the measure of the angle form is one half of the positive difference in the measurement of the intercepted arc. Kawig pa rin dun sa dalawang una. Yung una nga lang, dalawang secant. Ito naman, isang, yung pangalawa, isang tangent at isang secant. Ito, dalawang tangent. So, kunyari, hanapin natin ang measure ng angle T R Y. So, one na puli. Ito yung arc na mas malayo. Na intercepted arc. So, arc toy. T-O-Y. Tapos, ito yung pangalawa. Minus arc T-Y. Consider na ang arc T-O-Y ay 300 degrees and arc T-Y is 60 degrees. So, isa substitute lang uli natin. So, we have one up. Tapos, then 300 minus 60 degrees. So, okay? So, if we are going to subtract this, 300 degrees minus 60 degrees, we have 1 half times 240 degrees. At kukunin natin ang kalahati ng 240 degrees and that is the measure of angle TUE which is 120 degrees. How about the next example? Okay, dalawa uling second, but this time around, sa loob na nag-intersect ang dalawang second. So, sabi, if two second intersect in the interior of the circle like this, interior ng circle, the measurement of the angle form is one half of the measure of the arc, intercepted arc, by the angles and its vertical angle. Kung itong angle na ito ang pag-uusapan natin, ito yung kanyang vertical angle. So, ito yung arc ng unang angle at ito yung arc ng pangalawang angle. Vice versa, kung ito naman yung pag-uusapan nating angle, ito naman ang kanyang intercepted arc. Consider that we will be looking for the measure of angle ISN. So, ito yung angle ISN. ISN. So, para makuha natin ng sukat ng measure ng angle na yan, yung intercepted arc niya ay itong arc na to. Tapos ito yung kanyang vertical angle. Tapos ito yung intercepted arc. So sabi dito sa rule, ia-add natin yon. So therefore, so 1 half of IN plus arc DK or KD. So we are going to work on with that. Then after that, we are going to substitute the value. Consider that 
IN is so 40. And this one, DK, is substitute lang natin yan. And we have that. Then perform the operation that becomes 140 degrees. At ang kalahati ng 140 ay 70 degrees. Therefore, that's the measure of angle ISN. Okay? Proceed with the next. How about this figure? One second. And one tangent that intersect at the point of tangency. According to this, if a secant and a tangent intersect at the point of tangency, then the measure of each angle form is one half the measurement of each intercepted arc. So, kung itong angle na to ang hahanapin natin, ito yung kanyang intercepted arc. So, let's see. Measure of angle R. Y, O. So, ito yung intercepted R. So, one up noon. R, U, Y. So, kunyari, ang R, Q, Y ay 330 degrees ang sukat. Hence, isa-substitute lang natin yon at kukunin ang kalahati noon and that will be the measure of angle R, Y, O. Okay, this time, consider this figure. And the given R, arc YU, which is 100 degrees, arc CO, which is 10 degrees, angle DBY, which is 40 degrees, and arc EY is 30 degrees. Usually, para mas madali na sa analysis yun, nilalagay ko na yung mga given na yan dun mismo sa figure. Halimbawa, arc YU. Lagay na natin. Okay, para mamaya, pag gagamitin mo siya, na doon na siya. Then, arc CO, ito yun, arc CO, 10 degrees. Then, angle D, B, Y, ay 40 degrees. Then, the last given is arc EY, which is 30 degrees. Ulitin ko, nilalagay ko na yan para mamaya, kapag kakailanganin, madali nang ma-analyze. And, let's have this one. Consider that we'll be looking for the measure of angle Y, R, E. So, to determine the measure of Y, R, E, analyze natin angle Y, R, E. Kung mapapansin nyo, mula siya sa dalawang second na nag-intersect sa interior ng circle. Hence, ang kakailanganin natin ay yung kanyang ka-vertical angle. Ito yung hinahanap ang sukat at ito yung kanyang ka-vertical angle. At kailangan natin kunin ang kanyang intercepted arc. Ito yon at saka ito. Batay sa ating theorem, iaad yan kapag sa interior nag-intercept. Therefore, uh, angle YRE is equal to 1 half, the measure of arc EY, yun yung intercepted arc mismo nung hinahanap na sukat, at ang intercepted arc ng kanyang ka-vertical angles. Okay, we can now substitute. Ang EY ay given na 30 degrees, pero wala pa to sa given. Pero pwede nating makuha na yan through anal analyzing the figure. Ito ay diameter. Mula dito, papunta dito ay semicircle. At ang sukat ng semicircle ay 180 degrees. Dahil given na itong 100, so kulang na lang or ito ay 80 degrees. At yun ang sukat ng RQO. Then lagay ngayon natin. At i-add na lang natin, 30 degrees plus 80 degrees is 110 degrees at ang kalahati noon ay 55 degrees. Yun ngayon ang sukat ng angle YRE. Let's have another one. How about find the measure of arc DEY? So to determine the measure of arc DEY, wala naman tayong pwedeng magamit na analysation dito. So, dito tayo ngayon sa related angle niya. Ito yon. Itong second na yon at itong second na yon. Para makuha natin itong DEY. Nag-intersect sa labas ng circle. So, ang gagamitin natin, one half. Itong DEY na hanapin natin minus CO kasi COY given. So, we have that. So, equals... Angle DBY given, 40 degrees, ito, equals 1 half. Yan ang inahanap. Ang CO din ay given, which is 10 degrees, ito. Okay, then analyzing that, 
We have 40 degrees is equal to 1 half dy. Tapos ang kalahati ng 10 ay 5 degrees. Ipinasa natin ito dito. Kaya ito yung sagot. 1 half of negative 10. Ito na yung sagot. Then after that, ililipat natin ito sa kabilang side. Ayan. Kaya naging plus equals 1 half. That's it. Then add natin ito. Magiging 45 degrees. Equals like that. Pagkatapos, kailangan mawala ito. Kasi ito yung hinahanap natin ng value. Multiply both side by 2. Para ma-cancel out na to. So, magiging 1 times arc DEY. Yun na yun mismo. Tapos ito, ita times natin. Sagot doon ay 90. Therefore, measure of arc DEY is equal to 90 degrees. Okay? Let's work on with the next. How about this one? Find the measure of angle Y are you? Angle Y are you? So, ito naman ang inaanap natin. Again, nag-intersect ulit sa loob. So, kailangan ng vertical angles. So, ito yung kanyang intercepted arc. Ito naman yung intercepted arc ng vertical angles. So, let's work on one half of the vertical, uh, of the arc length ng tinatanong at ng kanyang arc ng vertical angle. And that's E, D, O. Then, given na ang Y, U. Ito. Ang tanong, given na ba ito? Di ba? Hindi pa. Pero, ito ay diameter. This one. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay semi-circle. So, ang kailangan nating makuha ang sukat ay ang intercepted arc na E, D, O. Kasi yun ang intercepted arc ng vertical angle. Dahil meron ng 30 sa semicircle ito, tapos itong E, D, O na lang ang kailangan natin. So, ibig sabihin ito ay 150 degrees. So, isa substitute na lang natin. 150 degrees. Sana nasusundan. Okay, let's proceed. Add na lang natin yan. At ang kalahati nun ay 125 degrees. At yun yung sukat ng angle Y are you. Let's have another one. Let us consider na hahanapin natin ang measure ng angle DAU. Hence, ito yung hinahanap natin. DAU. So, dalawang, ah, isang secant at isang tangent na nag-intersect at the exterior of the circle. So, ito ngayon yung arc na kailangan natin. At ito yung another arc na kailangan natin. So, one half. DEU, this one. DEU or arc DEU. Minus arc COU. Okay, so pagsasubstitute tayo. Si DEU ba ay given? D E, U. Kanina, ito ay 90. So, ito 100, edi 190 degrees. Okay, the other intercepted arc ay arc C, O, U. So, paano natin malalaman ng sukat ito? So, given na yung C, O, arc C, O na 10 degrees. Ito yan, 10 degrees. Tapos, ito kanina nakuha natin na 80 degrees. So, 10 degrees plus 80 degrees, that is 90 degrees. Then, isa-subtract na lang natin ito, and that's 1 half of 100. 190 minus 90 is 100, at ang kalahati ng 100 ay 50 degrees. Therefore, that is the measure of angle DAU. Let's have the next one. So, let's consider that we're looking for angle EUF. So, we have E. U, F. So, E, U, F. Isang second at isang tangent na nag-intersect again sa point of tangency. So, ang formula natin, one half, yung kanyang intercepted arc, ito lang yon E, Y, U. So, ito, 30 at saka 100, e di kalahati ng 130 degrees at yon ay 65 degrees. At yun yung magiging sukat ng angle DAU. Okay, that's all. Kamato class. God bless us.